Hi there and welcome. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting video here. I uh, just kind of wanted to talk about my persona and how I came to a conclusion that my persona is a great representation of who I am and um, and how I came up with that. So uh, as most of you should know, I'm a certified dog trainer and I had to study multiple breeds a wide variety of them, their psychology, traits, etc. So while I couldn't find the exact traits that I remember studying, um, uh, I have instead pulled up the American Kennel Club because I am unable to find the excerpt page for German Shepherds on the right dog for you. So. Uh, anyways, here's an overview of the German Shepherd dog. First of all, I think it would be right for me to go ahead and show you guys my ref sheet. So as you can see, you know, little guy, little doggo boy, little doggo boy. I actually own an orange bow tie. Love it. I am actually called Banjo in real life. Uh, I do play the banjo. Um, and, uh, you know, I do wear glasses. So we have it. And I do have... A little hat that I wear sometimes. Um, so all based around me. Got a similar smile. If you are to look at the photos of a side-by-side -side comparison, he actually shows a lot of the same features that I have in real life. I've kind of lighter brown eyes, etc. Um, anyway, so let's go over to the German Shepherd dog. Considered courageous, confident, and smart. Now. There's a wide variety of uh, different ranges and and the way German Shepherds act, but overall this is going to be the AKC standard. Um, you can see uh, some stuff that's not necessarily relevant to the Sona. Uh, so basically, let's go ahead take a look at uh, you know barking level, you know moderately. Uh, moderately <laughs> talkative, right? Mental stimulation. It's like me. I need to, I need to be doing something with my brain a lot. I do have a high energy level sometimes, um, so that's kind of that come and goes. Um, my German shepherds that I've had, you know, they're kind of just like me. You know, they, they come and go um, as far as the energy level, uh, trainability level. Pretty easy to train. Um, I mean, in real life, I'm working on a master's degree, so, you know, and I've worked a handful of jobs with training, all done well with them. Uh, so basically, the breed standard, you know, here it is. Um, <laughs> uh, but I do want to take a look at the breed colors and markings. So they do have a lot of colors, right? So not just your typical black or your black and cream, black and red, black and silver, black and tan. This is actually the typical one, sorry, black and tan. Uh, mine is more closer to a liver. So this is who I based it off of, essentially. So if we take a look, you can see a lot of similar similarities between this pup here. Of course, there's different variances of the liver. So you have a lot to work with here. I like the liver look quite a bit um, for the German Shepherd coats. Uh, okay, so, you know, let's take a look at the about the breed. Generally considered dog kind's finest all-purpose worker. And, you know, I would say, like, as far as me goes as a person, I, I'm definitely a jack-of-all-trades. The German Shepherd dog is a large, agile, muscular dog of noble character and high intelligence. Loyal, confident, courageous, and steady, the German Shepherd is truly a dog lover's delight. German Shepherd dogs can stand as high as 26 inches at the shoulder and, when viewed in outline, presents a picture of smooth, graceful curves rather than angles. The natural gait is a free and easy trot, but they can turn it up a notch or two and reach great speeds. There are many reasons why German Shepherds stand in the front rank of canine royalty, but the experts say their defining attribute is character loyalty, courage, confidence, the ability to learn commands for many tasks, and the willingness to put their life on the line in defense of loved ones. German Shepherds will be gentle family pets and steadfast guardians, but the breed standard says there's 
a certain aloofness that does not lend itself to immediate and indiscriminate friendships. Beautiful, beautiful. What to expect, you know, uh, you know, owning a dog is not just a privilege, it's a responsibility. But anyway, so let's go take a gander at some of this, you know, affectionate with family, very lovey-dovey. Uh, let's see this, good with children, moderately good with other dogs, high shedding level, <laughs> I can attest to that, you know. Um, my dog, oh, she, uh, <laughs> she sheds, she be shedding here everywhere, you know. Low amount of grooming needed, low drool level, really, typically. It's a double coat, coat length, mini medium, medium. <laughs> there are long coat German Shepherds and stuff, very nice. Openness to strangers, moderately open. A little bit good of a playfulness level. Uh, high watchdog slash protective nature, high adaptability, high trainability, energy level, barking level um, is moderate. Mental stimulation needs are pretty high. So this is who I, uh, this is, you know, taking a look at some of these uh, breed traits and characteristics, looking at the breed, not, not to mention they're also like some, my favorite dog, you know, I love working with them. Like whenever I worked with work with both my German Shepherds, really, we we like we connect on such a level that it's easy to communicate. Just because we understand each other, we think very similarly in a lot of things. So I can see the world through the eyes of my dog usually as I connect with them. This breed, especially. Um, so this is this is. You know, these are all some things that helped me uh, choose who I wanted to be. And uh, so, I would recommend, like, if you're considering making uh, a Sona, you know, try to find, try to do some research, you know, what dogs or animals you get along best with, do some uh, temperament research and things like that, and you know, hopefully this helps you. Uh, these are kind of some of the things that I considered whenever I was connecting myself with mine.